All right, Jim, so here's the deal. Let's just say that you're in D.C. like I am now, and you have got to call 911. Chances are this phone call is going to get routed through this building, but let's just imagine that the call center that is inside of there goes down. Well, now they've got a new backup plan, a really, really big backup plan that just so happens to be parked right around that corner. You never know when it could happen. A natural disaster, a fire, even an attack. But in D.C., no matter where the catastrophe hits, they say they're ready. This is THOR, which stands for Tactical Homeland Operations Resource. It's a portable 911 center, the only one they know of in the whole country, built after New Orleans lost their call center in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. It's very important that when something happens that our residents, our citizens, our visitors can call 911 and this just takes us another step there to make sure that happens. Karima Holmes gave us a tour of the dispatchers downstairs. She's literally on a live call right now. And the 911 call takers upstairs. What we're seeing right now, these, these are two real life 911 calls, people on the other end going through some type of emergency. Exactly. There's a briefing room, radio communications equipment, a kitchen, the list goes on and on because this thing is huge. For a little bit of context, I'm five foot eight. Take a look. When I stand next to this thing, I don't even go a third of the way up. DC bought it used for $550,000 in federal grant money, and they say it'll cost about 100 grand annually to operate. You never know when that thing is going to happen and we want to be prepared because we are the lifeline, right? We are the communications for police, fire, EMS. You know, we want to make sure that it's available and I think this is just a step towards making sure we, we serve our citizens, serve our residents how we're supposed to. And for the record, that thing is so big, I just had to ask, can you even drive it on the highway? They told me, yes, they can, but Jim, they said it takes a little work. Yeah, you also got to watch the clearances and everything like that. Uh, so here's the deal. It's a big thing. It's huge, clearly expensive. They bought this thing used before. So where was it before D.C.? Interesting story. I am told that a private company actually built this after Katrina. Their intent had been to rent it out to big cities for really big events. Didn't work out how they had planned, so they sold it to DC at what was actually a fairly steep discount. DC again paid 500 grand federal uh, in federal grants. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm told that it was built for two million dollars. Josh Rosenthal, thanks for that inside look.